parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. What's your name, fat body? Sir, Leonard Lawrence, sir. Lawrence, Lawrence, what, of Arabia? <laughs> Great movie. Intense movie. Okay, my friends. I push it turning back in for another review. Today is Applejack Monday. I picked this one today. I went shopping, I saw it there and I said, well, why not? Usually I don't um, review infused spirits, you know, like vodka with lemon, vodka with cranberry and things like that, or flavored uh, whiskey like Applejack and all this stuff. But I thought, well, to mix it up a little bit, because I'm mainly focusing on scotch and vodkas, I said, why, why not? You know, it's a lot of people drink this stuff. So I thought for the ones who don't know about it yet, I'm gonna review it. Okay, this is the oldest uh, distillery in America. It is formed in uh, uh, New Jersey in 1698. It's a family distillery, all run by family, and it's the oldest around. They supply George Washington and other presidents with that stuff. Uh, uh, one of the presidents had a meeting with a Russian uh, 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 vice president or president shortly after World War II, and he gave him a whole case of that stuff. So I thought, well, it got to be good if you give it to a president, especially from Russia, you know. Uh, it's called Lake's Apple Jack. Uh, it's kind of like a bourbon, it's kind of like a brandy flavored with apple infusion. So mainly the company says it, 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 it's a brandy like, you know. People I talk to, they say it tastes like bourbon with apple juice in it. So hey, you can make everybody happy. Let's try that stuff out and see where we're ending up, all right? Uh, okay, I appreciate you turning in, like I said in the beginning. I appreciate the new subscribers I got. Gives me more and more motivation to make more and more videos. I did a Jim Beam Apple a couple of weeks ago. It was very sweet, in my opinion. Uh, I personally, I don't like uh, that much sweet stuff because it gives me a stomach ache. So hopefully this is not too sweet here. But I still will give you my honest opinion as to how it tastes, you know. All right. Let's see what we got, my friends. Okay, it's a twisty cup. All right. All right. Yeah, you can see the bottle better. I'm gonna put a better picture up once I edit the video so you can see better. All right, let's go to the nose, my friends. Uh, the price point for this bottle was $22, so it's not expensive, but it's also not too cheap, you know? So it's the middle ground. Okay. No alcohol smell, no burning, no nothing, no ethanol, nothing. It's really uh, smooth, fresh. You can smell the apple, uh, green, red apples. Uh, I think it's red apples. I'm not sure, but it's too sweet for green apples. So that's a good thing. I like that. Uh, the mixture ratio, the company says, is 35% uh, apple brandy, basically, and uh, the rest is natural uh, spirits, you know. So, it all depends on how it tastes, because it, the nose is nice already, so I like it. Especially for me, when I only drink straight out of the bottle, you know. I don't mix, put ice in or anything like that. So, this it's a pleasant smell already. This stuff was the most sold before World War II, the, the apple brandy in America. But after World War II, it dropped down, you know, it, it, it faded a little bit out of the, uh, the market because so many other stuff came up with what we had here already, you know, 
and then the imported stuff which came from Europe and England you know Scotland the Scotch and all the stuff so after World War II it really flourished and pushed that a little bit down but now I think it comes back as a how can you say uh, a niche you know a little something special so yet now you see it everywhere that's why I bought it because I saw it at Walmart I saw the make a doodles I saw it in wine shops you know so I said why not give it a try all right my friends cheers to you guys appreciate you turning in Yeah, okay. I think it should be a little colder. It's, when something is sweet, for me, when something is sweet, it should be colder. I don't like the, the warm stuff. It's 89 degrees in here today again, so everything is warm. I would think if you put a little bit ice in at this condition, it would taste better. But you taste the apples it's got a deep rich bourbon kind of like flavor this brandy bourbon mixture it, it, it's nice there's a sweetness which you get with bourbon of course and then you got the complexity with brandy if you have a good brandy you know uh, I don't know in what category I should put it brandy category or bourbon, but I, I, I'm, I'm leaning over to brandy The brandy and the apple together overpowers anything whatever bourbon is in there I, I don't think there's any much in there anyway. I think it's straight brandy there's If I'm really mistaken my taste buds I Would actually take out the whole bourbon thing and just uh, call it brandy. Taste wise, it's not my thing. It tastes okay if you like flavored brandy, flavored whatever you like flavored. Yeah, a lot of people like flavored vodka, you know, flavored whiskey, flavored brandy. So my opinion is with ice it would taste better, but I don't wanna go now and get ice cubes. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, the taste is all gone now, so, but you definitely, you get the uh, apple taste, you get the brandy taste. Bourbon was a mistake, there's no bourbon in there, uh-uh. No, absolutely not, I don't think so. Apple, yeah. Uh, as to the apples, it takes a hundred pounds of apples to, to get out one gallon you know ap apple juice which you can use then for the mixture so it takes a lot of apples so I would say on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the best you know price included you, I always include the price and my flavor taste my recommendation what I think you know it, it is worth uh, even I don't like it you know but it doesn't taste bad. I just don't like flavored things, you know. I still would give it a six and a half, seven, you know. It's just, it's not something I would be enjoying in the evening, drinking, drinking. But hey, everybody has different tastes, you know. And there are probably a lot of people who love uh, flavored things. I don't drink cocktails, you know. I think it's ridiculous, you know. Gives you a big headache the next day, you know, and it costs you an arm and a leg if you go out and drink uh, cocktails. But there are many, many millions of people like cocktails, you know, so that's their thing. So this is a specialty niche for people who like flavored things and they probably love it, you know. I don't say it's bad. It tastes okay. Yeah, I definitely taste the apples but before I drink that I would, would just drink this stuff here you know my, my scotch my blended scotch you know I like it tastes good totally different you can't even compare them, those things you know it is it, 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 totally different world just like 
uh, yeah, here. And for example, here, straight vodka tastes really good. I like it. Flavored vodka, citron. You know, this is absolute vodka with lemon in there. So I don't have this is brand new. I haven't even opened it yet. So I don't know how that would taste if I like it, you know, because everything I drink is straight, you know. So that's going to be the next one. Flavored thing is if you drink flavored drinks, whether it's vodka or it's brandy or, or, or it's a uh, bourbon, you know, like uh, here. The apple bourbon, you know, it's a totally different thing. I could never drink that till I'm wasted at night. <laughs> you know, I couldn't do that because it does not has what I'm looking for. I'm looking when I drink a vodka, I'm looking for complexity. I, I, I get the flavors out of it. When I drink a scotch, a single malt, I'm looking for the flavor, for, for, for the complexity, for the full body in there. That's what I'm looking for. And then I'm drink, once I'm drinking it, I'm getting all those sensations basically, you know, so I enjoyed it. Uh, uh, rum is the same. Rum is sweet, but I like the complexity. You get the, the oak from, from, from the barrel, you get the sugary stuff, you know. I like that too. Even I don't drink a lot of uh, rum. Mostly I drink vodka, beer, and my uh, uh, scotches, so that's me. But I enjoy too, once in a while, reviewing flavored things. So this is something I'm still gonna have in my bar, you know, to offer to my friends when they come over. Uh, oh, you got uh, the apple jack, I, I take that, I like it, with ice, you know, and hey, make him happy or make her happy, you know what I mean? So, but I would not enjoy it very much. I drink one or two and that's it. And then I would go back to my regular drinks. So with that said, my friends, it is good stuff for people who like flavored stuff because you really taste the apples, you know. There's no alcohol taste, there's no harshness, there's no alcohol burn when it goes down. So it's, it's some good stuff. It's just not something, you know, I, I would drink all night long, you know. Uh, just like milk. A lot of people like milk, but they hate chocolate milk. I like chocolate milk, you know. I prefer chocolate milk over milk. If I don't have chocolate milk, I drink regular milk. So I hope I, it, it, I made it clear. Okay, my friends, if you got any questions, leave a comment down below or send me an email. Tell your friends about the channel. Sign up for the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you not have done so. And you will get a notification each time I upload a new video, like the next one tomorrow and so on and so on. So I hope you enjoyed it. Any question, like I said, Leave a comment down below. Thank you very much, my friends. Bye-bye.